This is a bike that I uh, just finished building for my son. And here's a look at a uh, few of the details of the construction of it. Started with a uh, cheap Canadian tire steel frame, stripped off the decals. Stripped the paint off with a chemical stripper. There's a few of the parts. Uh, the, the hub is a Sax 7 speed, a new old stock, Sturmy Archer crank. A uh, new fork I converted to an inch and eight threadless because it had an oversized head tube, although it originally had a one inch fork in it. The head tube was sized for an inch and an eighth. Well, here it is back from the powder coater. Looking all nice and spiffy. It's like unwrapping Christmas presents in June. Powder coating make, makes a much more durable finish than paint. Now to do some frame prep, we're going to chase and face the bottom bracket, face and ream the uh, head tube. Cutting oil is always required for using these tools. Anytime you do a paint or powder coating or building up from a new frame, it's vital to do a frame prep with the facing and the reaming. If you don't have the tools to do this yourself, it's certainly worthwhile to take it to a shop, somebody that has the tools and pay them to do it. Get a much better result in the end. Also, the threaded holes and bosses, uh, water bottle cage uh, mounts and uh, rack and fender mounts and so forth. Powder coating will fill up the threads, so need to tap that out. Now I had to narrow the frame spacing from 135 millimeter down to 132. Did that with my Hosan frame spreader. And uh, after changing the spacing, you also need to check the alignment of the frame. So install the wheel or, or the hub in the frame. I check the alignment with a park alignment gauge. And then I correct the alignment by supporting the head tube and the axle. And then in sock feet, stand on the seat tube and apply some pressure, and bend it, recheck, repeat as needed. The rest of it's just putting nuts and bolts together, install the head set, uh, mill the crown race. Again, any new fork or after painting or powder coating, milling the crown race seat is a, a vital step. Yeah, we installed the fork and the spacers, the stem and the handlebar. Now it's time to string the brake cables, the housings. And at this point you want to check and make sure that you, you get the housings to the appropriate length. Not too long so that they're droopy, but yet long enough so that there's no interference when you're turning either way. The maximum turn angle. Now the shift cable, there's a guide on the frame at the top, but uh, we need to find some way to secure it to the frame. Screwed into the bottom bracket, so it doesn't droop. Holding it here. Bottom bracket. Bottom bracket. Holding it here. But, uh, we need something to hold it in place along the bottom of the frame. So. Something to hold it in place along That's the bottom of the frame. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll drill and install a couple of rib nuts along the bottom yeah, of the so frame. A couple rib nuts in the frame, right. nylon P clips to rope the cable. The I have to be cable. careful not to put too much of a be bend in the cable there, keep it nice and smooth. Bend in the cable there, keep it nice so and smooth. So it doesn't affect the shifting. So it doesn't affect the shifting. 
And the fully assembled bike looks good, but I think it needs a name decal on the down tube there, so had to come up with a name. So I had a sign shop make up the decal for me. Watching this lady apply it, I'm really glad that I didn't uh, attempt this myself. Pretty tricky job to get it right. And she certainly did it right. And voila, the final result. And here's my son after I presented him with the bike. And with my granddaughter on the new bike that I gave her last month. We all went out for a trail ride. She just learned how to ride without the training wheels. Now we have to teach her to ride in a straight line and keep to the right. But she's doing pretty good. great time that day. So I made a couple of videos of the building of the rear wheel uh, for this bike. I'll put the links to those videos below. 